Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Aquarius for the first half of December 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is for Aquarius for the first half of December 2020. That's for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. These are the cards that I'm using. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so these cards have been pre-shuffled, right? Now, this is a general reading. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't manifest any weird stuff into your life. It's not going to resonate with everybody. <clears throat> this is a general energy for... Aquarius for the first half of December 2020. General energy for Aquarius is ooh, Seven of Pentacles. So you may be waiting for something to manifest, right? It's something that you have put some work into, right? You have devised a, a, an idea, you've brought it to fruition, and now you're waiting to, you know, cash in or, you know, collect the fruits of your labors. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and find out what is going on for Aquarius. Uh, what is going on for Aquarius for the first half of December 2020? For Aquarius, the first half of December 2020. First half of December 2020 for Aquarius. Okay. Just wanted to get through the first complete shuffle there. We got the Knight of Cups, though. There is a message coming in. Some message of love. You might be sending it out or somebody's bringing it in for you, right? <clears throat> I do see here that you have gone through some sort of ending in a situation, right? You've gone through some sort of ending, right? But you bounced right back, you know, you have a new love already. So you may have, you know, uh, gone through some sort of relationship and jump right back into another, right? But then there's, a, a, and, and you don't want to fight in it, right? So you, you chose a relationship where there's no fighting possibly, right? And then there was the end. Okay, so I see here that an ending has came to a situation where you start, start started something new uh, in regards to emotions, right? There was fighting in this situation, but it kind of ended, right? The, it ended because uh, this whole situation ended, okay? You may be wait, you have you may be in the process of waiting for this uh, situation to be cl completely over this cycle, right? So you could be at one of these stages. You know what I mean? Now we do have the Ten of Swords here, and it looks like there was some backstabbing going on here, and the backstabbing had to do with whatever ended in your life and whatever started, right? So. <clears throat> You may have been doing some backstabbing or somebody may have been trying to do that to you, right? Because, you know, something ended and you just wanted to start something new. You didn't want any arguments, but just as quickly as it started, it ended, right? Now, we do have front and center here, Princess of Cups, or could be somebody sending you a message in regards to some sort of emotions. And this is a second confirmation because we have the Knight of Cups right here too, right? So there could be some message coming in. Now it could be about a child or it could just could be about somebody who is um, starting something new when it comes to emotions, right? Because the Ace of Cups is like a brand new start, 
right? It's directly connected to the Princess of Cups, right? Where you want, so this could be the energy that you want, a new start where there's some motions, you know, starting from the beginning, starting slowly, but you want to avoid any sort of arguments and fighting and bickering in the situation, right? That's what you wanted, but the situation ended because possibly that's not what was there. There was some deception. Somebody was trying to get away with something or somebody did something to someone, right? Let's go ahead and find out what else comes out here. What else is coming out here for um, Aquarius for the first half of December? 2020 Aquarius for the first half of December 2020 All right <clears throat> Ooh look at the bottom of the deck the devil shit man ooh and the 10 of wands Okay oh, and the fool working on yourself Somebody, okay, so this is what's going on here, you know, when it's in terms of what's going on here. There was some truth that came in about devil energy, right? You found out that truth, and it was a burden. You're like, oh, no, 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 I can't deal with that type. So you took a leap of faith somewhere else, and that leap of faith was to basically just work on yourself, right? Work on yourself, because you found out some weird truth. Maybe somebody was doing some weirdo stuff, weird stuff that you don't, you know, like, ooh, really? You know? Um... <clears throat> But it, it did involve devil energy. Now, somebody could have had some addiction or something that you didn't know of. Somebody was hiding an addiction from you. or uh, And that's something that you may have found out. And this is what may have, you know. I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Let's see. So, like I said, there was deception. Somebody wanted to start something brand new. Didn't want to deal with any arguing or fighting. Maybe it was like that in the past. But somebody didn't want to deal with that anymore. But... It was still the same, I think, because there was, but there was deception here, right? And it could be in terms of um, emotion. Somebody was being fake, possibly, and somebody found out the truth about that, that somebody was being fake here and um, not keeping their word, right? And that shit kept somebody up in their head because somebody may have made a promise here. They didn't keep their promise, right? Yeah, look, look, there we go. Somebody was juggling. That's what it was, see? Somebody was juggling another person. Somebody found out the truth about that. That really upset another individual. Look, nine and ten of swords consecutively, right? Stabbed you so much, it just died. I'm just like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But I do see here that um, <clears throat> even though you're in that energy, you know, you're very emotional over it. You're, you're emotional. But I do see that um, because you cut yourself away from this juggling activity and ended this cycle, I do see something in regards to finances coming into you. So you made a good choice, right? So the universe is going to be rewarding you somehow. So, you know, that's where that seven of pentacles comes in. You know, you've waited for something to happen and never happened. And it was such a letdown because you did all the good that you could do with it. And it just didn't turn out in your favor, you know, or did it? Mm-hmm. You worked so hard. Do you think that you always work for nothing? No, no, no. If you work hard for something and you're good and you're, you know, you're kind to others, you don't, you know, you don't fuck people over or whatever, just keep waiting. It's coming in. It's going to, you're going to get, you're going to be rewarded by the universe. You know, if you're not rewarded this way, maybe you wanted somebody in your life and it's not good for you. And you cut yourself away, you decide to work on yourself, love yourself, you know, screw them, end the cycle. Trust me, you have some something financial coming in, a gift from the universe. It could, you know what? It, actually, I, I'm not going to make the promise of financial. You know why? Because it's, uh, Pentacles is earth, right? So you could also be uh, being rewarded with some sort of gift or knowledge or uh, balance, boundaries, whatever. It could be anything. It could be material items. It could be money, whatever. It could be anything in regards to finding balance within yourself, balance in your outer world, right? Because it'll help you to heal from whatever this garbage was, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <clears throat> let's go ahead now and see what comes out here. Uh, this is Shocker with the Morphoride, and this is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius 
for the first half of December 2020. Aquarius. We did start out here with forgiveness. So whoever screwed you over or whatever, forgive them. Just forgive them and leave it alone. And I'm going to tell you why this card came out first and foremost is because you need to have faith in the universe that you will re be rewarded from your hard work, even though it didn't work out into your favor. Forgive, right? Uh, because you learned something from it. Number one, you still got something out of it. You, you learned a lesson. You Now you know how to see these red flags if you were to come upon you again. Have faith in the universe that you will be blessed, you know, for your hard work. I mean, you don't have to expect it, you know, just... Just know, okay, it's a lesson. That should be a gift in itself, that you learn something, right? But I do have a feeling you might be receiving a little bit more. That's just my little side, you know? I don't know. I don't know. What else do we have for Aquarius for the first half of December 2020? So I do see we have expansion, right? So something's going to come in it to an end, right? Because you find out the truth about this juggling and that you are going to receive a gift and it's going to be a gift of some sort of knowledge or expansion of your mind, right? You are receiving some a gift of knowledge, right? <clears throat> it was your destiny to go through this situation exactly the way it happened, all right? Uh, have faith have faith in this destined path right i feel like i need to get one more sorry yep because this expansion is is that you are going to meet your soul so maybe you might have been in something that was not uh you know things kept going bad and shit you know and and you didn't want to argue you do have them you did have emotions for this person but there was there was just too much going on right here right and so you had to cut yourself free from this possibly to learn a certain lesson and maybe to expand your faith in spirit, right? Expansion. And that's when, you know, your number one will show up, the soulmate, right? Because that's essentially who we want, you know. We might be in these twin flame whatever relationships, but... That's not who we want. Uh -uh. I don't want my twin flame. I want my soulmate. I want my twin flame who has uh, healed. A twin flame who has healed is a person who is the best version of themselves for the person that they're going to meet up with, right? Doesn't mean they're going to be 100% healed. No. But it means that they have healed enough for spirit or the universe or whoever it is you pray to to allow this person to come back into your life right yeah so maybe you were around somebody they were your soulmate they were your twin flame but they were doing the most being the worst Ugh. yeah that's not the person you want you want the soulmate you want the person that learned all their lessons right that's the way I see it. A lot of people see it another way. I don't know, but that's how I see it. And you say, oh, yeah, I'm in union with my twin flame. Oh, well, I guess you got to look forward to another separation, right? If anything, if you're doing well, you got to say, I'm in union with my soulmate, plain and simple, right? Because you don't need to explain this to, uh, to a bunch of people because half the time people don't even know what the heck you're talking about. They think you're in some sort of dream world, whatever. So, yeah, just leave it. <laughs> just leave it and go with the flow. Be the river, you guys. Look, yeah, rejection. So you may be rejecting a certain situation. Like I said, you found out the truth. You brought an end to a cycle. The cycle's over. You're not going to, you know, And but you're going to give that little forgiveness, like I said. Well, you don't have to, but it's nice. It's good for your karma. It's good for your your inner feeling it's good for your heart i don't know but <clears throat> you're definitely going to reject the negative thing that was going on in your life and you're going to be moving forward uh, and you know like i said be grateful that that happened because you learned from that and that was the lesson that uh projects you forward towards this soulmate that's gonna pay off you're gonna be able to collect the fruits of your labor all right 
So let's get these. These are, um, what do you call them? Angels Ancestor cards, right? They're like a uh, Native um, Native Indian st style, right? Native American Indian style, this kind of, you know. Okay, this one didn't come out. Let's keep moving. What do we have for Aquarius for the first half of December? 2020, December 2020 for Aquarius. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so you got a good little amount of cards out. Let's see what we've got here. All right. So, first of all, we have um, Eagle. See from a higher perspective. Yeah, see? So, you know, take a step back, you know. Maybe, maybe, um, this has not happened yet, but it's going to, or you're in the process, you're in one of these stages right here. And it, it, it appears that the angels and the ancestors are telling you to see from a higher perspective. And that's where that for, for, uh, forgiveness comes in. That's what I mean, you know, when I say, you know, it was a lesson, you know, forgive them and be grateful that you got that lesson, right? That's what they're trying to say right here. See from a higher perspective. Why do you have to for, forgive? Because why? Because you learned a lesson. You know, you learned a lesson. Uh, hopefully you did anyways, right? Maybe this reading will be a trigger for a lesson learned. I don't know. But um, we have an eagle. See from a higher perspective, okay? Forgive, right? Why? They could have been the most, ru most ruthless person to you. They could have stolen from you, lied to you, cheated on you. But you know what? Just forgive because... Uh, and, and you don't need to do nothing to this person, you don't the universe will take care of that for you just leave it alone accept it as a lesson learned and move forward that's really what uh, the whole idea is here right look mountains stand your ground right don't let people use you as a doormat maybe somebody did and you did stand your ground and you said you know what i'm not doing this shit anymore maybe that's what happened here you know Maybe you had to stand your ground and say, I'm not going to stand for this anymore, and I don't want to deal with you anymore. It's done. We're over. It's done. I I quit or whatever, right? <clears throat> um, animal guardian, trust your instincts. You may have been thinking about this for like a, a quite a bit of time now, right? And now um, I'm just holding it closer because I feel like it's so dark. Yeah, I guess it is kind of. But um, yeah. You may have been thinking about this for a long time, and now is your time to shine. It's your time to tell them and give them a piece of your mind. Winter, take care of your needs, right? But, you know, uh, in the winter time, which is right now, just about, or pretty much, <laughs> right? Um, take care of your needs, right? Do what makes you happy. Stop trying to make everyone else happy, you know? take care of your needs and it's funny how they have this card for the winter time because in the winter time everybody's always out going shopping buying things for other people and everything you know take care of you first you know take care of you a lot of people have been taking advantage i see lately in these readings and you know it's time to take care of you you know moon take note of intuitive messages and you know yeah it's gonna be a full moon coming up isn't there but uh you may be affected by these moon cycles yourself though oh uh, i do suggest that you do all positive work if you do work with moon cycles you know some people like that like to work under the light of the moon speak their affirmations under the light of the moon because it's fun, whatever, however, whatever floats your boat, but, uh, yeah, make sure it's all good and nothing negative, right, and all your hopes and dreams and things can come true, as long as you keep up that, uh, <clears throat> that energy, though, you got to keep that energy going, you can't be all evil and stuff and hoping that your, man your good manifestations are going to come to fruition, no, you got to be good all the time, all the time, Let's see what is going on here for Aquarius. 
This is the Healing Oracle. Aquarius for the first half of December 2020. Aquarius for the first half of dude, December 2020. All right, there's another card that flipped over in here. Here it is. Any more? Let me just make sure. <laughs> no, that was it. Okay. <clears throat> So now, let's see, we have here, no one is perfect, there is good and bad in everyone. And you know what, this is so friggin' perfect, these cards are crazy. <laughs> you know, that's, that's in terms of this forgiveness, this is where it would have gone. Forgiveness, right? Everybody does some shit, you know, everybody's done shit. Everybody, you know, I mean... Just forgive them, man. Just forgive it and let it go. Because th then you're going to hang on to it. And when you're reminded of it, you're going to be like, ugh, that moment in life. And then you bring back bad energies into your life. Maybe ruin your whole day just from that thought. Shit, man. Just forgive it and let it go. So if it does ever, you know, pass your thoughts, it's like, oh, yeah, those times. Instead of, ugh, ah, ruin my day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, look, being a loyal friend can only be achieved if you are loyal to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm just messing with the focus. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, be loyal to yourself. You know, that's the first person you need to be loyal to. Right. And, and, and that's and it's just like, you know, loving on yourself and being kind to yourself. Those are the, the type of people that you're going to attract in. Right? You're going to attract those people into your life. And that's going to it's going to make you happy. It's going to make you happy to have those kind of people. You know, the best thing you can do is know yourself. Ain't that the truth? Know yourself. And, and, you know, nobody knows you better than yourself, right? No one knows exactly what you think, but you do. Follow the positive thoughts, please, if you can. Right? You know which th what thoughts make you feel all kind of funky because they're... Na they're it's kind of like... <clears throat> it's kind of like when somebody comes around and you're real happy to see them... But you're not as happy to see them as somebody who you 100% trust and love and care for. You don't have that same kind of inner feeling, right? Yet you you think or you feel like you love them and you care for them. Yet you get a kind of rush when they're around. Maybe it's a lusty kind of feeling. I don't know. But it's not that good, good feeling like a brother or a sister. Or, you know what I mean? You know those two different feelings. And the best thing you can do is know yourself. And when those feelings come up, you act upon them. Don't go with it. Don't just let whoever comes in try to control, take control over the situation. Would you let your brother or sister come in and try to control the whole situation? No. Hell no, you wouldn't. You would be like, hey, Bob, shut up. You know, you know what I'm saying? Would you do that with this person? Know yourself. Know that feeling. It's not like you have to be like, no, shut up. But, you know, in your own way, in a kind way, in a, a an adult way, in a um, compassionate way, you say, you can speak up. Producing a thought is an action. Keep thoughts loving and compassionate. Right? Like I said, you think about things, you can just say, oh, yeah, that was a thought. You know, that, that's back to the forgiveness, right? Back to the forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Don't produce any negative thoughts, especially when it comes to somebody you have already forgiven or that you're going to forgive. Don't produce any more thoughts. It's going to just make it harder for you to, to forgive this person, right? Because then you start making up stories and shit in your head that don't even belong there. <laughs> really, you know. <clears throat> So, yeah, hey, that looks like that's it. That was pretty much to the point, and, uh, you know, 
had some kind of suckish moments, but I, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna pull out of it because you're gonna be gifted with something here. Uh, even if you know what you know, oh, you're gonna be gifted with the gift of knowledge because you learned a lesson. I think maybe that there's gonna be some kind of luckiness coming your way. I'm, I'm feeling a little tiny bit of that. I don't know for somebody out there, somebody's gonna get lucky uh, because you know they really got hurt here. I think it's because they really got hurt, and the, and the universe, see, the universe was counting that person's tears because that person was very, very kind and loving. So if that's you or somebody you're doing, I don't know, whoever that is referring to, whoever really did put their heart and soul into this uh, is going to be rewarded uh, with, I, I think, a, some, some sort of, I don't know, money, finance, something. And, and also, the biggie is, is, is they're going to meet their soulmate. You know, the soulmate, the good soulmate. The one who will be, you know, just like them. The one who will be, you know, you guys will be like two peas in a pod. You know, it'll be, it'll be all those nice goofy stories that you hear about. This is my soulmate. You know what I mean? Uh, not, not, not the twin flame story. <laughs> no. It'll be like, this is my, you know, perfect person here. Anyway. All right, so if this um, resonated with anyone out there, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. That would be great. It's good for your karma points. Yeah, we do karma points here. <laughs> also, keep a true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful, right? You. All right. <laughs> I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.